You know what I'm saying? Like, like that's that's what I call support. That's a support system, and that's like family. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You need that support. Everybody needs support. You can't make it nowhere without somebody helping you. Yeah. Ain't nobody's. I don't want to hear nobody say they made it on, on their own. Because it's a lie. You it's a lie. Make it on your own. It's a lie. That's so being important. Selfish. I, yeah. I have. You're just trying to bury the ones who actually help. You can't make it on your I own. I was yeah. just talking to somebody about support and. I'm not, you know, most of the time because of what I do, you know, I have a lot of people, I know a lot of people who um, do what I do, especially people who are really close to me. Mm -hmm. And I tell them all the time, you know, it really hurts to know I'm not asking for anything monetarily. And maybe you can't come to every event that I do. But if I see you on Instagram or I see you on Facebook and you liking all these other pictures, but you can't ever post my event or promote my stuff, you know, I feel a way. I feel like, you know, that you know, the support, you know, you know is not there. You know, if you were to act but, way but, different at your stories, you get it reposted, right? No, not don't, you don't, guys. Don't, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about even deeper. I'm talking about, like, really close to you. Like, people you sleep it. with or people you, you know what I'm saying, you frequent. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about just regular everybody. Oh, then you got to leave, that, you gotta leave yeah, that, yeah. that nigga alone, though. Well, not just dudes. It could be your no, no, kids. It could be anybody. It could be your best friend. You got to let him go. I'm just trying to show you. I was just trying to I was just trying to make a point of how close. nigga move out the way. <laughs> I'm just trying to make a point about how Before close he moves the out the way, stop. make sure he fix the bed too, all right? <laughs> Tell him to fix the bed. But no, Military I'm just style. saying how important support is. It doesn't always have to be monetary. It yeah. could be, you know, it could be anything, man. Like, just spread the Less word. Is more. Like, Less is more. Like, I want to see you win, and I want you to be able to want to see me win too. Well, let me tell you something. You know what I'm saying? And this is real talk. If somebody's not liking your pictures on Instagram or liking your stories, that 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 ain't gonna stop your success. No, it doesn't stop your. You know success. what I'm saying? You gotta keep going. Facts. Yeah. Who cares? I'm about you know to be saying? as I lived. Facts. Who, who cares? Facts. You know what I'm saying? True. Somebody else, the 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 people who you're directing the message to, mm -hmm. they're getting it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's where your success is gonna elevate because they're getting it and they want to hear more. So now word of mouth goes around like, yo, you gotta listen to Shorty. Boom, 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 boom. Two times. Next thing you know. You know what I mean? You big. Now, they start liking your shit because you big. Or wanting to repost or wanting yeah. to say, hey, uh, because you, you big. know, she's doing her so thing. So now they, wanna, they want, <laughs> you, to, they want you to repost <laughs> yeah. what they reposted yeah. of you because they get some <laughs> likes and they get some exposure. No, don't say that. Nah. That's not nice. We call them weird followers. Nah. <laughs> weird followers. Weird. Nah. Fade to black. Trust me, man. Fade to black. Dang. Everything you're saying, I understand it's it because I've been through, to I've been through it all. Peace. But no, that's that's crazy because I was really literally talking about uh, support. But I do have a question to go back on onto family. Um, I know sometimes your brothers, sisters, you know, you'd be like, okay, well, I'm not gonna talk to them. But your mom and dad, you always want to have a relationship with. Do you think you'll ever have a relationship with your dad? Well, you know what, my dad reached out to me about, I think about six months ago. After how many years? After years. Mm. What we call it in the Caribbean, donkey years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, um, I spoke to him for a little bit. I gave him my number. I gave him my old number, not my new number. Nice. You know what I'm saying? This is going up, you know. <laughs> yeah, I tried. I tried. <laughs> you know what I mean? Why it didn't work out? But how did it feel? Like, it, it just didn't feel it didn't, right? It, not that it didn't feel right. I just don't give a fuck. You yeah. know what, what was his reason for calling you? Excuse my language. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah what was his reason yeah. for calling you after all this time? I don't even know. You know what I mean? I ain't make a hundred million. Yeah. Don't call me. Yeah, even if I made a hundred million, don't call me. You know what I'm saying? It, you know what I'm but saying? But you know they say forgiveness. You know you're supposed to nah. forgive. Yeah, you gotta hear it out. First. I forget. I do, but I did forgive him. Okay, so you yeah. forgave him. If I didn't forgive him, why? Well, I'm happy. I'm happy in life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm a happy person. I'm truly happy. You know what I'm saying? No, I feel I, you. It's not. It's not like I didn't forgive him or anything. That's just the relationship. The relationship we had. You know, it wasn't a a successful relationship yeah you know it wasn't it wasn't good you know it wasn't a father and son relationship and on top of that you didn't reach he, he didn't he didn't expedite the process of reaching out to me you know to to try to form a, a bond you know what you mean by that yeah because he didn't speed up the process instead instead of instead of it going 10, 13 years without you calling me, yeah. you know what I mean? You should have called me right away. Like, look, son, I want to speed this up. I want you out of the group home. Uh, That's what I was going to ask saying? you. So he didn't contact well, you when you were in the group on. home? But that would have made a big difference come if he would have hit you Of course, it would have. Yeah. But yeah. you don't think you would be this type of person? If no, I would still be this kind of person because, you know what I'm saying? This type of success and everything? Of course. Same you know wife? Probably more. 
Yeah. Because yeah, it's good to have a father figure. Father. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That that ain't no joke when you have a father what figure, you when you have somebody that got your back, you know, right. somebody could show you the right way. At, at the end of the day, whatever the father did to you, we, we Caribbean, we know that abuse is going to take place. You know, it's not right that you abuse and, and you beat your child, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you would still have that. That super power that, that that father figure that's there to say, you know what? Um, l- let me help you with this. Oh, let me help you with that. And and and, and I yeah, got your man. back with this. And I got you. You will have more of a stable home. You know, not even more of a stable home, but like, you just just somebody to help you with decision making. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Somebody you could say, yo, pops, what's up, man? Can I, should I do this, man? You know what I'm saying? Instead of you going from a dude from the street who right. just sold a pound. You know what I'm saying? You asking them, yo, what you think about this? Or or a group home staff, you know. You could save all that energy and just get, you know, put it. You would want to hear it from your dad. You would want to hear it from your mom. You know, know, I don't want to hear it from my dad or my mom. I'm good. Not anymore. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. But back then, yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm not You talk to your mom? not uh, Not really. She ain't even hit me for my birthday, man. That was crazy. My birthday party. Oh, that hurt your feelings? September Yo. 21st. Did it hurt you know? your feelings? Uh, you know what? Not really. Wait, wait. Tighten up now. I swear to God. I it swear to God. Ain't hurt your feelings? You, you nah. Can, you can't even talk about 10. your mom at all. Where's your mom at? Uh, she's in London. Do you oh, visit so she her moved you from go? the no. islands over no, there to London? Excuse me? She she left uh, her homeland and went over yeah, to Yeah, because London. We, we're British. You know what I'm saying? Our island is owned by the British, mm. you know what I'm saying? It's a British colony. It's the island of Montserrat. It's in the Lesser Antilles. It's probably one of the smallest islands in, in the Caribbean. It's about a population of 10,000 people, if even that, you know, so everybody knows everybody. Um, you know, but, you know, originally from Dominica, you know. Um, he speak good English. Wait, let me ask you a question then. He reads, man. Yeah. He does. Because I know you were speaking about your your your... Your wife's mm-hmm. um, dad. Um, is that why you think he you gravitate toward him? Yeah, yeah. He he's um, my wife's father. He he doesn't speak too much, you know. But um, he's a very intelligent man, and when he when he does talk, you listen. Mm. That's that's all I'm gonna say. Mm. You know, nothing nothing more than that. I think that's what probably you appreciate when he talks because he talks so little. Yeah. So you zone in, you zero in. Yeah, he's uh he's a very intelligent man, you know, and he doesn't talk just to talk. Mm-hmm. Exactly. When he when he talks, he he's saying something and he's meaning what he says. You know what I mean? So he's a that's a, important. He's a though. great friend to have. Yeah. Well, do but you a think, very bad enemy. Do do you do you think that he plays in the role as your father? You could talk to him about the uh, decision. Uh, you know, I won't say absolutely yet, but you know, we're getting there. Good. You know what I'm saying? We're getting there. You know, as he doesn't open up, um, you know, too much to, you know, I, you know, I just been around him five years. You He's know, still trying years. to fill you up. You know what I'm saying so. It, not that he, he he could read some people. Yeah. You know what I mean? He the guy's, you know, smart. I feel you. He could just look at you and all right. You know what I mean? Let me just see what you're about. When he hears you speak, he's gonna know what kind of person you are. And he just watches actions. You know what I mean? So that's that's why it's important to listen it's important to learn Mm -hmm. it's important to just observe Uh, observation is everything you know so um this is this is a (laughs) a unique uh, conversation because um my father wasn't in my life gary's father wasn't in his life Mm -hmm. hers wasn't in her life and And i feel uh, the same way you do you too but i don't i don't feel that way i do um, because I know that, you know, it took two people to put me on this earth. Mm-hmm. And you have a different uh, point of view because you was abused. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, But for me, you know, uh, my father just wasn't in my life. And I, like eight, eight to nine people I talked to, none of them had a father in their life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's weird. But here we all are sitting here at this yeah. table talking right now. None of us had a father no in our father. life. But we all turned out pretty good. Yeah. So we were chosen. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. That chosen is an few. We're the chosen well, that's, few. That's why I say everything about the selected few. But it's been a journey. It's well, been hard. I would. I mean, you know, I don't can't speak for everybody, but it's been hard. You know, I can't say that I haven't wanted a father. I know, um, a lot of times he's tried. My dad tried to reach out. I, I can count. Check this out. Can you imagine when you get the opportunity to look back on your life and they were to take all your experiences and put it in one cup? You know how good that wine would taste. It's still hard, you know, because like I said, he reached out to me when I was 13. He reached out to me when I was 13. He came to my house. 
Um, by this time, I didn't. I didn't. I was wondering why my last name was different from my brothers and sisters. Mm. I was really hurt that my, I had this different last name. Um, then I found out at 13 when my stepfather, who treated me just like I was his own, I didn't know he wasn't my dad. Mm. Um, he passed away. Then my real dad comes over and visit. He gave me $150, a black leather book bag, a bracelet from Africa, certain metal that if you get sick, it turns black. Um, and then his question to me was, Did, it, did it turn black? Yeah, yeah, it turns black. For real? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Do you yeah. have it? It's, it's in storage. That's that and Because it broke. But it, it, and it turns back the regular color when you're okay. Um, and his question was to me was, do hey, you have a boyfriend? Where can I get this I bracelet from? I was so from? mad. Stop it. <laughs> hey, man, he just did you a big favor. He didn't do me no favors. He invested in your health. Man, cut it out. <laughs> cut it man. out. I didn't hear from him again until I was 26. He's watching you from a distance. No. And then I didn't hear from him again until I was 32. He's watching then you. Then I don't hear from him at all. Then, I, then it's like, oh, I'm going to text her and I'm going to say. Um, your daddy he, watching you. Man, cut it out. Your daddy He's like, I love, I love you. I love from... you. I love you, Nakisha. Where, where, and I'm like, how do you from? love somebody you don't from? know? He's African. He's from, from Gambia. He's African. Full blood. African. That man's Mom probably, and dad. Your dad is hiding in some shadow. I'm so dick. He lives in <laughs> California. He's never here. You see? He go, he but that's why 20, I feel it. Like, I feel like. 20 kids. Yeah, 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 I just feel like he had the opportunity <laughs> to get to know me. I have a sister in Fort Lauderdale. He knows her more than he knows me. He comes to her 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 baby christenings, her graduation. He gifted her things for You ever You ever asked what she's doing that you're not doing? No, I I, I did, and she wished the answer she gave me was not nice. <laughs> so what was it? Let's keep it one hundred. <laughs> Yo, she might want to keep that to herself. I know it just wasn't it wasn't nice, and it just felt like a curse almost. Um, but it it had to it didn't have to do with me. It had to do with my mom, her mom, and my dad. So they're saying that you know pretty much I wasn't supposed to be here. You know, so oh, that's what she used to tell me. Enough said. Yeah, so. I found out some things that I didn't know. So like, that's why. So I figured that's why he treated me like this. Like, I'm sitting around with my family when I went to Chicago this time, and they was talking about Got me talking. Who, who daddy children was. Wait, wait <gasps> right? a minute. I'm 62 years old, and I'm just not finding out who daddy ch real children are? Right. Like, that blew my mind. Yeah. You know? But that's one of the reasons why I have an organization dedicated to bringing father and children back yeah. together, because I've been through similar things. As you, you, and you, yeah. and you know so well. That's what I do every day. Is trying to educate <laughs> these kids on. I know. Th th I know this stuff probably touches, you know, it touches you mentally and emotionally sometimes. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm, not I mean, really anymore. Or are no, you numb no, to not, it? Not really anymore. I'm. I'm really good about everything when it comes to that. But it's a lot of the kids that won't be good. Like yeah. she's not good about. No, it. I'm really me, not. Me, I, I don't even think. Because I feel like it messes up it. relationships. If it messes up trust, I, I think you're coming back. You're never coming back. I think about? you're gonna call. You never call. Not good with your you know father. I mean? Let me ask you a question. Like it, did, it, it really you, messes you up. Did you um the relationship with your father um the the way you handled it emotionally and even mentally did you um did you swept it under the pillow mm -hmm. or, or did you no i actually went out and, and found my father okay okay i wouldn't see what he was doing like my father how was did like that a, go my, he was like a part-time pimp no <laughs> you know what i'm saying he had a lot of women he was a dj he was a uh what? he was an umpire in baseball jack of all trades yeah, yeah and he was doing all these things and so i went and sat down with him in the lounge with him i oh, went and wow. watched the baseball games i started playing baseball too oh, wow. you know what i said i just got in the swing with him oh, that's and good. we you know rekindled that relationship that way oh that's good yeah but i mean you know, i was fortunate everybody's yeah, not as good. fortunate as me but and then when my father passed you know i I was hurt, really, yeah. because I didn't get to spend enough time with him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because all that time was lost. Yeah. You know? And so I can understand. Like, I was asking, me, me and Gary talk a lot about it because, you know, his father's not in his life and hasn't been in his life. But I always ask Gary, too, uh, so <laughs> what are you going to do? You know, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to rekindle that relationship? Are you going to sit down and talk to him? Let him know you, you love him even though, <sighs> you know, he hasn't been there. Oh, just what are you going to do when it comes to that? You know, because for me, I have the privilege to sit down with hundreds and hundreds of thousands of kids and talk about this same situation all the time. But then why is it the child that has to do that? That's why I just, I fight with, I promise you, because I get it all the time, like, Nid, you got to forgive. Okay, I forgave and let go, but I don't feel like it's my responsibility to have to it, come it, to you now and say, Dad, I love you, let's build a relationship. Like, why that, wouldn't you want to do that with it's, me? It's, it's, you got to say, you got the chance to become something that your parents couldn't become. Yeah. 
So they never, if they never had the strength to love you, if you got the strength, you now you hold the torch. Mm -hmm. Now you start the new legacy in the generation. Yeah, because like because if you don't build a relationship with your father, it's gonna trans it's gonna transfer over to the lifestyle of your children. I not, look at I look at my mom. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. All about the emotional buildup. It's gonna come out eventually. It's no, gonna be transferred over. Not necessarily, because Go ahead. you have to um, you have to have some sort of love, love for yourself, love mm -hmm. for your children. Yeah. Obviously, if someone is um, absent in your life mm -hmm. and they don't give a, they yeah, don't give a damn about at you. all. <laughs> you know, if they keep coming in and coming out, yeah. coming in and coming out, you know, entering your life and leaving, entering your life and leaving. This is this is instability. Yeah. You know, Disruptive. you don't need that. Yeah. You know, so so with instability, especially when you're dealing with family and, and, and immediate family of that, it creates um, numbness. That means your father could, my father could walk through this door right now and I don't give a damn. Yeah. Oh, what's up, please? That's some kind of, num that's why I asked you the question of how did you deal with it? Did you just sweep it under the carpet or did you actually go out there to try to build a relationship? Because when you actually, forgive like we said you know then it's it's easier to deal with everything so that's what that's what with me i have forgive you know i forgave him you know and now everything is just easier to deal with you right. know but do you see yourself walking down the beach with him one day talking absolutely not there you go you <laughs> see, see you? But, that, but that i feel that's why i said i understand where he's coming from because it's not i don't think it's not that you don't forgive i absolutely think i've forgiven him yeah. but it's like i'm not gonna put i'm not gonna allow you to put me back in that same situation or take me back to that space and if you are a different person it'll be my loss yeah unless I, you come into unless you come in to make this this relationship work it's gonna be my loss yeah, i just this I, is my I, I try to be the bigger i try to be the bigger <laughs> person in, in that situation. Yeah, you did great. Because my mom and my dad never had anything. You're the like, bigger man. Yeah, yeah, you did great. When, when I look at my mother and my father and they never even owned anything, they yeah. rented all their life and traveled like gypsies yeah. all their life. And then I look at the generation now, like we were poor. Our family was poor as hell. I'm going to tell y'all yeah. the truth. Like where we at now is a whole different new us I know. from where we were back 30 and beyond uh back in the in the past the the generation now my nieces we got we got four or five of them now and all of them they're doing well they, they, they're doing good you know what i'm saying yeah. and it's a it's a change and not saying it's because mm -hmm. of the parents in their life or the dads in their life but they've chosen to be better regardless of not having two parents in the home. Right, of course. And they went through the same thing with their parents. Okay. Their fathers wasn't there neither. You know, I've, I've watched the whole family tree and daddy ain't never been at home. Um, I think I would almost rather that you would have never been there at all. Don't pop in and out for me to just go find you and build a relationship instead of you popping in and out every so often, you know, saying, you know, break, making these promises you know or then i'm hearing you know you you're in fort lauderdale but you got a daughter here in miami and don't even come see me like that hurts but it, it's and over with he's not poor you, it's no, over with it ain't you, over. you don't tell me it ain't over you know, you know what's going over. on right now it ain't over <laughs> it's not over like how did you bring that up <laughs> it's not it's over not a, em, emotionally you're destroyed <laughs> Wow. That's some BS. Right. And he's not poor. <laughs> Relax, bucko. No, he got like, he's Cut an engineer. He has rest, <laughs> he's an engineer. He has restaurants in Africa. And I'm like, really? Ooh, this like, is really beyond now? me. <laughs> All right, fine. I'm quiet. Yeah, I'm, ahead, I'm, I'm going out, into my shell. What up? <laughs> no, don't go down to our last minute. We pretty much done here. <laughs> oh, man. That was a dope interview. But yeah. you know what? The, you. the interview was off the chain, it man. Was. It was lit. It was. I loved it, man. You're a, you're a <laughs> humble person. Uh, yeah. I wish you all the luck, and you've already had great luck as far as I can see. Yes. And uh, I wish you even more. Yeah. I hope somebody you. sees you that really can use you yeah. and Me use too. your talent. Me too. You know what I'm saying? Giving that 60 For mil, sure. three, three years. <laughs> three years. Yeah. 25 guaranteed. Hey, speak it into existence. Yes. 25 guaranteed. <laughs> oh, man. You, you don't need to do all them years. Just give them the check, man. Trust me. <laughs> so great. for everybody out there, we want to thank our special guest, Lester Prosper. He, yes. he has an awesome name, awesome yes. last name. And uh, just thank you for coming by, man, stopping by and giving us all this, these words of wisdom, man. And Absolutely. We love it, man. Um, thank you. If it's news around the world, then it's probably being heard right here on the way different shows. Share us with your friends. And don't yes. forget to tune in to us on Thursday nights, mm -hmm. 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock.
and from uh, the one and only Gary Niji and, and Lester Prosper, we out. Tell them to follow my, my go ahead. Instagram. Also. Y'all follow go ahead, go ahead, Mr. Say Prosper it. right now. Mr. Prosper, M-R dot P-R-O-S-P-E-R. Let's saying. give it up for Lester, Thank you. y'all. You're right. <laughs> and we out. Cut. All right, guys, so that's a wrap. It's another episode of Way Different. This is live from the dojo. We got Z-Man in the building. <laughs> we got Thug Bravo in the building. And you know you got me. The man is six five inch. From the moment Mari enter. What's on the agenda? Find a shorty like she don't read it. I bring her to my center. Rose and margaritas going straight to the blender. Chanel number five. Is it Lincoln's? I remember. What's your name? What's your sign? Damn, you know you fine. Baby, you that ass. Girl, I got to make you mine. Daydreaming while I'm driving. How you looking from behind? If you feel the way I'm feeling, why the f*** you wasting time? I didn't ever make We all have dreams. So, I mean, I know people say, I mean, they probably think I'm used to it, you know what I'm saying, by now, but it's still a dream being in NBA, you know, I still play 2K with those guys, so. Which is why we end up as strong as though. Let's be clear. Yes, sir. Hey. Yes, ma'am. Hey. Right, do you like the gear? Do you like the gear, right? Do you like the gear? They don't in the middle of the night. If you feel the way I'm feeling, it's going to be all right. I say green light at the green light.